Hey guys, Internet Historian 66420 Productions here. Before I give you another mediocre video, here's an ad for Heroes of the Spy. Play it on your phone, borrow your friend's phone, then play it on the toilet. It's an action RPG PvP OMG. Wow, hey, are you playing Heroes of the Spy? Excuse me? That's a yes. Build a team. 400 is too many. Excuse me, sir. Can you please turn off your electronic... No, I'm playing Heroes of the Spire. Oh, sorry, sir. My mistake. It got a 4.5 out of 5 on Google. How bad can it be? You can play as this guy. Oops, I should have blurred out his nipples. To see the uncensored version, you'll have to download the game. EA was not involved at all. It even has a Reddit. Don't worry about that. Download lines by my links to get 50,000 gold, 50 gems. Thanks, Konami. Hi there. It's me, J.K. Rowling. You know me from the series that inspired the Harry Potter erotica, and the ghostwriter for Tyler Oakley's autobiography. But I have another tale to weave for you today, and it's about spoilers. Flashback. 2005. My sixth book is coming out soon. The kids are excited, the parents are misguided, and the hype is building. But the popularity of the series also had some unintended effects. It gave rise to four nefarious groups, houses, if you will. The first, the bootleggers, making and selling knockoff merch, as well as knockoff books. The second, the gamblers, thousands of individuals betting hundreds of thousands of dollars on the outcome of the story. Who would die next? Who would Harry hook up with? And the third group, the thieves, one of them stole an early copy of the book and tried to sell it to the Sun newspaper for £50,000. This was getting serious. So the publishers started ramping up security. They put GPS trackers on all the pallets. Guards were stationed 24 hours a day. No one outside of a very small group was allowed to get their hands on the book. But despite the extra efforts, there was a leak. Which brings us to that fourth group, the Spoy Boys. They didn't care about money. All they wanted was to ruin the fun. You probably know these three magic words. Snape, Kills, Dumbledore. The spoiler started on a few small forums and quickly spread everywhere. And then it went from online to RL. Teens were taking to their mom's minivans and heading out to bookstores where cues to buy the Half-Blood Prince were stretched around the block. Snape kills Dumbledore! Oh! Hey! Snape kills Dumbledore! No! But that wasn't all. They started printing custom shirts. Posters. Even car enthusiasts were getting in on the action. Spoilers, get it? But worst hit of all were the sacred Potter forums. People were making accounts there and posting spoilers in every thread. I couldn't bear to watch. But there was an even bigger event on the horizon. The final book in the series. And this would contain the greatest spoilers of all. Fast forward to 2007. It's getting worse. There's now a fifth group, journalists, who are rummaging through my trash looking for scraps of paper. We started taking it very seriously. More GPS trackers, more guards. We made fake endings. We even got the GCHQ involved to conduct surveillance on some of those first three groups. We did everything we possibly could for my precious book. And yet, the retailer deepdiscount.com sent the bloody thing out to customers a week early. And the Spoy Boys were more prepared and organized than ever. July 18th, they called it P-Day, because they're not that creative. Attacks on the shores of the United States. Harry's a Horcrux! <laughs> Dobby dies, Tonks dies, Moody dies. Dies for Harry because Snape likes Harry's mom. All boy lands, actually. He's dead. He is so dead right now. He's ruined some lives. Hey! Guys! Guys! Attacks in the streets of London. Attention, 
and everywhere else too. World of Warcraft, Furcadia, more shirts, posters with bolder font, more cars, even a shitty cake. A few people even made a massive banner and hung it over the motorway to ruin it for morning commuters. They were stopped by police, thankfully. But the hardest hit of all, again, was the sacred Potter Farms. 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, someone managed to get access to the site admin. They wrote a message with every single spoiler in it, set recipients to all, and hit send. Everyone registered to the site, thousands of the most dedicated fans You've got mail. received the email. The only thing they could do was temporarily close down the farm. And that brings us to why I'm telling you all this. Because there were always supposed to be eight books in the series. And now you'll never get to read the final installment. Harry Potter and the unbelievable plot twists that change everything. Because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. Now if you'll excuse me, it's tea time at my private moon castle. Five, four, Toodaloo. Three, two, one. We have ignition.